Mandish, Mandish, okay, Mandish. Maropra. I'm down by the souk uh, where the markets are where I like to shop. Uh, looks like they still got a checkpoint going into the souk where they're not just letting anybody in. Assalamu alaikum, bonjour, greetings. Wow, today we are out here on the streets of Rabat on the day it's supposed to be some sort of change in the lockdown, some sort of change in how things have been going. Um, just so you know, I pulled my mask down and I came to a more secluded area where there's no one around so I could at least get this video started without the use of my mask. We're about to head out on the streets and uh, there's where I'll have my mask on and give you a little bit more of an idea of what's actually going on here in Rabat uh, as opposed to what's been said or how I understand it to be said. Um, so. I guess instead of just me standing there running my mouth, let's get out and take a look and see what's going on. So I'm coming back out here to the street. So what I'll do is uh, clumsily put my mask back on and I hope you can still hear me. Okay, so I'm actually on my way to the market and uh, I get all the way down there and I realize I forgot my money. So I've got to walk back all the way up to my favorite ATM where I can get the best exchange and uh, get my money and we'll continue on but in the meantime I wanted to kind of show you a little bit about what's going on my mask keeps slipping down I know that it's improperly being worn right now uh, technical difficulties on the mask so um, from what I've seen there's a lot of businesses that are still not open uh, from what I get that the um, that the new order came down that shops can be open until 8 o'clock uh, major cities, we're all still kind of in a lockdown. We can't go anywhere. We still have a curfew, things like that. Places in the less populated areas, you can resume life just as you always knew it. Well, lucky them. Good for them. Uh, but for us still here in the capital city, it's looking pretty much the same. There's a lot more people out. Uh, it's good to see the taxis out running again. So as far as traffic and population and people being out, uh, there, it looks like there's a light at the end of the tunnel here. But we just have a little bit more of a pinch to go. Uh, I hope this phase of the reopen doesn't last very long because honestly, I'm tired of not seeing the sunset. Uh oh, I'm about to get run over. Hey. Uh, Mandish, Mandish, okay, Mandish. Maroka, Maroka. No, the Mandish. I come from Cote d'Ivoire. I don't have. I don't have. Thank you. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. Uh, life in Morocco, my friends. Uh, you just gotta got to understand that not everybody's got it so great while I'm here talking about uh, how I can't go see a sunset there's somebody asking money for food um, now I will say he doesn't look like he's missed any meals but at the same token that's not for me to judge uh, so and I truly don't have any money on me uh, like I said I forgot my money I don't even have any money with me so uh, but I digress so if you look uh, like at the banks and some coffee shops you can see lines standing out there there's people there's open the businesses that are open but uh, there's a lot of them still not open you can see the traffic here is running along pretty well everybody's still you know standing at the lines the bank coffee shops and all that stuff uh, so basically this is not going to be a whole big uh, big report uh, I, there's still a lot of things that I don't understand about this order, what's going on. I will say that obviously the masks are still an issue. They are still a mandate. And uh, from what I've seen, there has been a huge compliance with people wearing masks. Uh, there's not a whole lot of defiance in that, regardless of what I've heard people actually say to me about this. Um, no one's liking it, but everyone's still just doing what they've got to do. I'm going to try to get across this road without dying on camera. Traffic in Morocco is definitely back to normal, guys. <laughs> it is like playing Frogger. Only the the quick, the agile, those are the ones who make it across the street. This is going to be a little rusty. I'm not. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on the street doing the vlogging. It's been uh, a different mindset doing those uh, wonderful live chats. So let me uh, let me get up here. I'm getting ready to walk past the part of my building and things and. I really don't want my camera on. I don't need any. I don't need any trouble with that, even though I don't mean anything. So, all right. I'll get back to you in just a minute. Okay. So I'm back down here at the uh, down, down by the soup uh, where the markets are, where I like to shop. Uh, looks like they still got a checkpoint going into the soup where they're not just letting anybody in. Uh, so there's that condition for that right there. 
uh, but obviously the markets are still open we've come through here um, you can pretty much find everything you need in these markets and which I've already told you uh, okay. No, no, fuerte is good. It's a suya, suya. Well, George, que otro? It's a, yeah, safi. So, and immediately when you come into the market, the games begin. It's, it's a, I love it. I, I love it here. It's really great. Uh, I love the vibe in the market. I love the interaction with the people. Uh, it's a little bit more of a local feel. And I don't really think I need anything in here right now. Pretty much what I need is going to be on the outside over there with uh, the vegetables and the meat and things like that. So, uh, so we'll get back out here on the back side of everything. Uh, there's a popular bakery right there. They've got excellent stuff in there. I love that. I love going to that place. I think they've actually got the, the gors. Gors? You know I'm going to mispronounce it, but you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? So there's uh, there's that, and sometimes when there's not a line, I like to stop in there and get a little bit extra something for myself. Uh, but here's my favorite spot right here, and I think I'm going to come in here and I'm going to buy my meat first. Let's get a little bit of vegetables and things. Everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy. I don't understand that. This day and age, people walking around with a camera ought to be kind of a normal thing, but it's, it doesn't really matter where you are in the world. I don't. It doesn't really matter where you are in the world. Um, everybody just kind of looks at you like you're freaking crazy. If you have a camera in your hand, they get all crazy. Bonjour, bonjour. Well, YouTube? Ah, bien, okay. So these guys have been my favorite butchers uh, to get my sausage, the meat, the sausage, uh, grand meat, juge. Um, I forget what you call the other one, uh, bagri. So I'm here to get uh, a kilo sausage. A nus kilo effect, nus kilo effect. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The sausage here is just, it's got a nice gamey flavor to it with spices. And it, it just tastes like nothing you've ever tasted in the United States. I don't think we could make it that way. Okay, Michelle, Michelle, Safi, Safi. Okay. The soisson. Uh, that will take care of it. Okay, so, so Mia, Mia Durham takes care of that with some change back. Uh, uh, oh, two dirham. Oh, I need two dirham. Okay, I have two dirham. Yeah, I had two dirham to give to that guy, but I'm not gonna insult him with two dirham. Uh, okay, two dirham. Ah. Uh, Bien, bien. I'll put you down for a second, guys. Ah. Bon Ah. Merci beaucoup. Hey, how are you? Let's make sure, man. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Bien. alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam make sure I don't drop any of my money. This is what I'm talking about when I like coming to the market. I love coming down here and seeing this and now there's more people here. Uh, it's just a really great experience when you get out and see people doing things the way they were. Uh, this is uh, this is definitely something that I needed to see today. Sorry about that crinkly noise. Um, let me see if I can come down here and grab a little bit of juice. Not juice, delage, delage. Delage is, a, delage is chicken, juice is soup. I need jaj. And you guys remember these? All the pretty little maids in a row? Yeah. Give you guys a better look at that from the last time. All right, so I'm gonna wait my turn here, uh, see what's going on. I don't have a whole lot to say, and we'll get back to this transaction here momentarily. Okay, so I forgot to push play, but I just ordered nus kilo, which is a half a kilo, which is basically a pound of chicken, the drumsticks. Um, they're better when you put them in a jean if they've got the bone in them. Uh, then it does with just a clean cut with a breast. It just adds a lot more flavor. You can put it and use it for soups and other things like that. Uh-oh. Let me get out of everyone's way. Stop it. Ventia. Ventia. So. Ventia. Huh? Ventia. Yeah. Uh, one dirham. Ah, uh, one dirham. So this is what I, this is what I need about the, the interaction out there with the, uh. Merci beaucoup. Bonne journée. All right, so that pound of chicken drums, 
So uh, that pound of chicken drum, so that the drumsticks just cost me two dollars. Take that, America. <laughs> okay. Now here we go back out here, and we're gonna go see if I can uh, video this while I'm doing my vegetable run. I'd like to think so, but if not, you know, you have to respect that. Just, uh, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I've built up enough rapport that over time that uh, that we can get a little bit of the sun video, but no promises. Okay, here we go. Assalamu alaikum. Kider, kider lioma. Yeah. a video for YouTube. Yeah. It's my favorite place. Um, um, oh, I forgot what I need. My t-shirt. My t-shirt. My t-shirt. My t-shirt. My t-shirt. My t-shirt. No, no, no. No, for what? For me. Yeah. Solo. Solo. Yeah, solo. I'm learning all the time. These guys are awesome. I love them. I love these guys. These are freaking... This guy right here, he's the one that said the limon or the citron. And I had it out. So, yeah, had it out. And he gave me the lemon. This is the man right here that gave me the lemon. See? And Hala and Celery. So I heard lemon, parsley, celery, and something else. Karaspur. Uh, ah, okay. We'll talk about that. Okay. Um, oh, batat. Batat? Uh, 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 Roba, Roba, Roba. So we get that. So I can say it's just me doing this whole thing solo. So these guys pretty much remain, other than this barrier right here, they pretty much remain unaffected by the lockdown and everything. Uh, they've been business as usual, and they've been an excellent place for me to come. It's been a wonderful experience. Verde, verde. Oh, the verde, dura. Okay, so they're not right. So they're really hard right now. So I don't, probably don't want any of those things right now. Um, uh, juice limona? And, um, uh, uh, persil? Uh, coriander? Um, celery? Uh, celery, uh, uh, mar okra. But, uh, the per persil and coriander. Uh, and, oh, what is this? This is basilica. Oh, that's right. You told me about this. Okay. And I told you I would try that the next time. Okay. So, okay. Unshuya. Unshuya effect. All right, now I'm spinning on what I don't know that I need. So, but we'll see what's happening. I love this experience. I, I, I this is what I love. I love being in things like this and being out conversing with the people in the local markets. This is the best thing ever. Ah, Kizu, Kizu. Affect, affect, Kizu. Uh, Tlaita, affect, Yes, Kizu, the carrots. Wahed, Juice, Tlaita. Affect. Isafi. Ribasta. Michelle? Michelle? Isafi. Safi. Now, big drum roll, let's see how much. Why are you telling us to Sixteen. 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 So. Stash. Steam. Steam. Oh, steam. Ah, sixty. Steam. Steam. Uh oh. What's the next, sir? So, for sixty Durham. I got a lot of that. I think it's 60, something like that. We'll see how much change I get. I gave him 200. Ah. Shukran. Shukran, Basef, Baslam. Okay. Shukran. Ah. Oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry about that. I'm sorry. Shukran, Basef. Thank you. And they gave me another lemon. So, uh, except for the celery. So except for the celery, it looks like I'm all ready to make uh, another harida, but I think I'm going to go with a different direction. Uh, I've got some other things that I like using coriander and celery for. Oh, man, you just got to love that. And I love the street vibe that's going on here. Uh, things are opening back up. They're, they've, they've chosen to take the higher densely, pop, the more densely populated areas. 
uh, leave them in the current lockdown state uh, while opening up more tr public transportation and allowing shops to be open uh, at their discretion, but we still have a curfew. Um, while the outer reaches of the country, the more remote uh, rural areas, they will uh, begin to resume life, as I said. And in a way, I get that, and it's taken me most of the morning to come to understand that and to not be really angry about it. I mean, when I start thinking about myself and being selfish, it can be very frustrating because honestly, I think it is time to just let people do their thing. On the same token, if there's ever gonna be a positive to spin on this, it would have to be this, that, you know, it's the most densely populated area. Um, and there is a little bit of, there is a little bit of relief going on. There is, you know, the coffee shops are open, albeit you have to stand in line to get a cup of coffee. You have to stand outside to get a sandwich or a taco or anything like that. But the fact is that you can actually do this now. You can actually take care of what you need to take care of and get out and do a little bit of living during the day. And ultimately, I think that's one of the best things that we can hope for. So I made my, uh, I made my market run, kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on here in the capital city of Rabat. Um, a lot of things are still closed. I could peek inside the souk uh, from the street and there's not a lot open still everything's still pretty closed down all the doors are rolled down there's some food places and of course the hanuts are open uh, but there's still there's still a lot of restrictions on that as far as just walking into the souk and doing what you want so we do have a little bit of an ease it's not the way the media spun it at all in fact it's exactly the opposite and things are a little bit unclear sometimes on this but overall life is returning back to normal as best it can and we just need to hold on and uh, I don't know, I guess just, just keep walking into that quarantine and I will see you on the next one. Bye.